Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Rodasta, and I'm a board-certified veterinary behaviorist. I've been boarded since 2006, and even though I've been doing this a really long time, uh, I still hear from clients all the time that say, I, I didn't even know that veterinary behaviorists existed. So I want to take a couple minutes to let you know what a veterinary behaviorist is and what you can expect at appointments. First of all, veterinary behaviorists are like veterinary psychiatrists. We are veterinarians that have completed a residency, published a research paper, and fulfilled all the criteria for credentialing. Then we take this really horrible two-day exam, and then we're considered board certified veterinary behaviorists. So we're specialists in the behavior of all kinds of animals. When you go to see a veterinary behaviorist, you're gonna fill out a questionnaire. Might be relatively short, it might be long, depends on what that doctor likes. Then you're going to come into the clinic and your pet will be assessed by the doctor. The doctor is going to take into account the history form you filled out, what you tell the doctor, the videos and pictures that you bring or sent beforehand. That is extremely important if it's safe to get those videos and pictures. They're also going to assess your pet in the exam room. So all that comes together to make a list of problems, then a list of differential diagnoses. Then the doctor is going to tell you whether or not they believe that there's illness contributing to behavior. You know, up to 82% of the animals that come to see veterinary behaviorists, so they're referred through a primary care most of the time, are these dogs, 82% are sick in some way, whether they're painful or they have systemic disease. So part of our job as a veterinary behaviorist is to find the needle in the haystack, find the pain, find the illness that is affecting behavior. So it's very likely that your veterinary behaviorist will recommend further testing. Then they'll lay out treatment options for you. Maybe behavior modification, management, medication supplements, changes in diet, maybe a consult with another veterinarian like a, an internist or a dermatologist or a nutritionist. The point is you're going to hear from an expert, someone who understands the physiology of the body, medicine, and behavior as well as the neurochemistry of the brain and how that drives the undesirable behaviors that you are living with then you should leave that appointment with options. You can choose any option that works for you. Then the follow-up with your veterinary psychiatrist is going to be like any other follow-up with any other veterinarian. In that, you'll probably recheck with them every so often for us at our clinic. As you can see, the appointment with a veterinary behaviorist is really not that much different than an appointment with any other specialist. We take into account what you tell us, the written history, the entire medical record, we assess your pet for illness, and we assess their behavior. We'll let you know what we think is going on and we'll give you options for treatment. From there, you'll make the choices that are best for you and your family.